So, here we are again, returning to a familiar scene for some of you who probably have been watching the channel for a while. Uh, you know, with my Planet Zoo series, I'm making a zoo for each continent, and we're back to the North America Zoo because there's the new North American DLC. Uh, so, lots of animals I'm really excited for added in this update. And the zoo probably looks a little different than the last time I showed it. I've been doing a lot of decorating over time, and in the last week or so for the new update, I've been preparing a new area for all the animals. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about the animals. The moose and beaver were ones I really wanted, along with the cougar. The prairie dog was a nice surprise. And then the sea lion and the alligator, honestly, I could have <laughs> taken a leap. Uh, I'm excited they're in, but they wouldn't have been my first picks. But a lot of people seem to be happy that they're in, so. I haven't seen... Oh, they added new features to the Zipedia with 1.17, that's good. I haven't seen the animals or their requirements, so let's take a look. So first up, we have the American alligator. Again, they did a very good job with the model and everything of the alligator. Um, it is aquatic and temperate. Oh cool, you can see how much it requires for multiple. That's cool. So it doesn't need that much space. Unfortunately, yeah, you can only have two in an exhibit. That's unfortunate, but nice to have a little, a little bit more. Um, <laughs> the American Bullfrog, yeah, it kind of looks stands out compared to the others. Um, Derek Dick Fox looks really good. Ah, really good. So, it's a good addition. Another fox, two in a row. A lot of people didn't like that, but I'm happy with it. Uh, Tundra and Taiga, about what you'd expect. Cab up to eight. So that's good. Have quite a few in the exhibit, and I've seen that they have the blue morph and the uh, white morph as the color variant, so that's good. Uh, beaver's not showing up, or am I just blind? Hmm. Prairie Dog, so again, wasn't expecting that, but pretty excited for it. I actually had quite the Prairie Dog phase uh, growing up at one point, where they were like my favorite animal for a while. Yes, that's what I wanted. They have desert as one of their biomes. That's great. Uh, have up to 12. So smaller group than I expected, but still good. Oh, it's North American beaver. That's why it's not showing up. It looks good. Tiger temperate and grassland. Okay, what you'd expect. Uh, sorry if you could hear that. Someone just went up the dumpster outside. Oh, yeah, because that's a new thing. I've moved, started my PhD, and uh, have my apartment set up. And if you hear a buzzing, that is the filter for my tanks. Someone's Simon again. Oh yeah, it's garbage day, that's why. Anyways, uh, have up to eight, that's pretty good. Let's see if I missed any between that. The, the, the cougar, of course, it's, it looks really good as well. They include its whole range and they include a whole all the different biomes, that's very good. Happy with that. California sea lion. To temperate and trop or temperate and aquatic. Pretty big group sizes. And you can have more than one male, I'm surprised about that. I guess we should check with the prairie dog. Yeah, prairie dog, you don't have one now. That's kind of surprising. That just leaves the moose, does it? 
The moose only has taiga. Wow. Okay. That's a little bit surprising to me. Might have to change some things for the exhibit I started making. Okay, I'm glad you can have more than two. That's good. Oh, they changed the Babarusa name. The update. I think that covers all the animals. Yeah, alright. So, as you can see for the title of today's video, I'm gonna be making a prairie dog exhibit. I've already laid out where I want it. It's gonna be next to, you know, the other prairie animals and right beside the exhibit house. Um, yeah, gonna make it desert themed. Finally have something I can use cacti for. Oh, that's something I wanted to check. If they added any biomes to pronghorn. They did, awesome, that's something else I wanted. And what about the bison? Oh, they did too, they added taiga. That's cool. All right, so now we've got a good look at everything to start. Gonna make the prairie dogs.
so there we go the first exhibit for the new North American animals done and you know compared to the exhibits I started off the zoo with I think it looks really good I think it really improved uh, but I was able to catch kind of the the rocky desert kind of vibe I was going for with these guys lots of a couple of rock outcroppings, had to keep making it bigger for the shelter requirements. Uh, lots of cacti, finally getting to use cacti in the exhibit's great. You know, for how small they are, and for how big the exhibit is, you know, I think I made the depth of the, oh look, you can see the doll sheep from here too. But I think I made the depth of the exhibit pretty good, where it's high in some areas. Oh, jump up there, so even high. Anyways, when it's high in some areas and low in others. One thing I'm really confused about, I did not expect that, but they have the arboreal feeding platform as their feeding structure, but they don't climb. Look at that. Perfectly balanced. Yeah, no, I think it's I think it's a really good exhibit. I think it turned out really well. Um yeah, I can. I know guests are still gonna complain about the view because they always do. But I, yeah, I think it turned out really good. I'm happy. With it. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. If you enjoyed it, uh, feel free to leave a comment. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel maybe. Uh, one thing I also noticed was the. Uh, before I leave. They have enrichment bonus with pronghorn and bison. I would not put them with pronghorn and bison in your life because, you know, not that the bison are endangered to them, but they're more endangered bison. One reason why they're so endangered, well, not endangered, but threatened, is because ranchers keep killing them because their burrows injure the cattle if they, like, trip in them. So, yeah. Anyways, side tangent. If you like the video, feel free to like comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, have a good day. Bye-bye.